All right, hey guys, uh, Realist Ginger video. Got a couple things that I'd like to uh, get off my chest. So, this stuff of uh, Trump supporters, you know, they're getting a little loud and they're making asses of themselves. Okay, this stupid jackass on their plane, uh, this happened, I guess, a or so ago. Um, yeah, he won, dude, I'm a Trump supporter. I'm happy the same you are. Don't bring yourself down to the liberal and democratic level, okay? Let's stop making asses of ourselves because uh, we're happy that we won, that the, the, the people actually matter this time. So let's cut that out, quit being fucking jackasses, let them make the asses of themselves. That brings me to my second point, okay? Um, it is now the 5th of January, 2017. And there was a Facebook video that got streamed live of four African-American individuals, young teens, no, I, I can't even say teens, young adults, uh, 19 to 20 years old, physically restrained, kidnapped, and then beat the snot out of a white man with special needs. Y'all got that, right? Is a white guy with special needs. They physically restrained him, beat him, yelling racial slurs and anti-President Trump slurs, and almost beat him to death. Okay, four, four African American young adults. They're uh, gonna charge these guys, from what I'm getting from the news, with kidnapping. Um, a hate crime, multiple assault batteries, assault with a deadly weapon, and they could be looking at about 20 years at the most. Are you fucking kidding me? They almost killed this guy over a hate crime because he's a Trump supporter, he's disabled, and he's white. This is ridiculous, okay? You know what, it's a sore subject, but I'm gonna bring it up. You remember when Rodney King got his ass whipped by the LA Police Department? Holy shit, holy shit. But you know what, I guarantee you, we ain't gonna start no goddamn rallies over this. There ain't gonna be no marches. But, okay, yeah, that was police, but these are these four young kids, the ones crying that they want equal treatment and that they feel discriminated, discriminated against. And look what they go and do. Okay? I'm not saying it's a black problem. Don't don't get that fucking shit twisted. Don't go start start going around saying race or real is gender racist. Because that ain't even the case. I'm just saying that these are the people that are out there complaining and bitching about equal treatment and how they've been uh uh you know, punished and looked down upon and they get discriminated against. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. That's what I have to say. Anybody that thinks that these kids were fucking right or believes what these fucking kids are doing, just fucking leave. Now, get the fuck out of this goddamn country. Don't ever fucking cross my path. Fucking horse shit, dude. But hey, on a positive note, um, we got about fucking 15 days till the inauguration. And uh, President Trump will be the president of the United States. I, I already call him President Trump. There ain't no president elect. He is the president. That jackass Obama's trying to throw every roadblock he can at him. Um, begging and pleading with Democrats to protect Obamacare. That travesty. So, uh, yeah. Uh, good job, Obama. You are now officially the worst president in American history. Jimmy Carter, you're safe. So, uh, yeah, he... That's a mess. See, this is, I, I sit here in the truck and I listen to the news and it, it just... Wow. Yeah, this is what pisses me off. That, let's, let's start acting like a fucking civilized nation and let's love each other and love our brothers. And, I mean... We need to unite. That's 
that's the main message that President Trump is trying to put across. And I know some are not accepting it as easily as others, and some are very bullheaded about it. But that, that's the whole point of his presidency. If you want to dig down and break everything down, all they said, he wants a united country. And that's what we need to become. We are the United States of America for a reason. And we're the greatest country in the world. And the most powerful country in the world. We need to damn well start acting like it. So, quit acting like jackasses. Again, I guess at least it wasn't clowns. Positive note, it wasn't clowns. So, quit acting like jackasses. Do a bus. Real estate.